And good Saturday evening. Our temperatures have cooled a couple of degrees since earlier today. We are 35 in Marlington, 38 in Lewisburg, 37 in Union. Over the mountains, a little bit warmer. Beckley checking in at 41 degrees. And we do have a couple of sprinkles that are sliding through Union County and Lewisburg. That activity is only going to last about 5 or 10 minutes. Lots of cloud cover and a couple of stray sprinkles back to the west. And that'll be the general rule over the next several hours, even through early tomorrow. Now, north, it's different. It's a different, <laughs> different uh, tune here across the Hudson Valley where a light snow event is going to take place late tonight all the way through early Monday. That storm system will exit off towards the east. We are watching another low pressure, moisture starved low pressure that will move in. And your timeline here is uh, Monday at 2.30. Lots of cloud cover will linger with this particular storm system. Things will start to change though as we make the transition all the way into the middle of the week. High pressure, a gorgeous Tuesday. That's the day to get outside. We're going to have lots of sunshine. But our next storm system is just on the horizon. A blizzard will develop here across the northern plains, and this storm system will edge off towards the east. And here's what's going to happen. Our timeline is late Wednesday. Showers will start to develop here in southern West Virginia from the storm system. Once we make the transition into Thursday, we have a low pressure across the Midwest that will transfer its energy to a coastal low off the Carolina coast. And as that happens, we will start to see cold air come in. So we're going to see that rain change to a little bit of snow. And then this storm system will become very strong as it moves up the East Coast. And the bullseye for this snowstorm is not going to be our area. Instead, it will be from the Mason-Dixon line north towards the Laurel Highlands in central Pennsylvania. However, we are going to see snow in the back side of it, and these isobars, these tightly packed lines, are lines of barometric pressure. The tighter they're packed together, the more wind, and that's exactly what we are going to see with the storm system. As it winds up, snow showers will develop over the hills. That's where we are going to see most of our snow accumulation occur, and then that storm system exits off towards the north and east, your timeline, Saturday at 11 o'clock. So here's the bottom line for us. Rain to snow transition on Thursday. We'll see two to three inches of snow Friday into Saturday and gusty winds developing behind the storm system Friday and continuing into Saturday. And our temperatures are going to tumble behind the storm system. Check it out, folks. A few drifts and drabs on your Sunday. Temperatures mid 40s, mostly cloudy on Monday, low 40s. Tuesday, the best day of the week if you like warm weather and sunshine, we're 46 degrees. Showers in here Wednesday. There's your changeover from Thursday into Friday as we get colder air come in. The highs in the low 30s, overnight lows in the upper 20s. And watch out if your travel plans take you into the mid-Atlantic, central Pennsylvania. That's where the hot spot will be for this particular storm system. We are back after this with more news.